Hello again. In the last video, we looked at the different uh, panel types that were available in Scala.Swing. In this video, we are going to use those to write, uh, to put together a little application. The application that I want to have us write is a GUI for editing and maintaining uh, a set of, of movie information. Okay, so. We'll call it moviegui.scala, and to start off, we will import scala swing underscore uh, because we're going to need all of our different elements from there. And the idea here is that I want to keep a uh, set of some movie information, so I'm going to make a case class, call it a movie, and inside of this case class. I want to have the title of the movie, which is of course a string. Um, we could have a year, which will be an int for the release. Uh, let's see, other things that might be significant. A rating, which will be a string. And then how about a description, something longer uh, that will also be a string store the movies I'm going to make a var called movies and it will be an empty list of type movie so we will do that of course I have to put the type here because Scala can't infer it for me if I don't put the type Scala will figure that uh, movies is a list of nothing uh, which won't be all that helpful to us. And I'm making it a var because we will wind up having a GUI that has the ability to modify these things. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a frame and it will be a new mainframe. And so that I don't forget to do so, I'm going to make sure to pop up that frame. To give it a title, movie database. Uh, we will give it a size, make a new dimension object. Oh, I don't know, how about 800 by 600. Um, center on screen so that it comes out nicely centered. And then before setting the size, we need to set the contents. Now, at this point, we have to decide what we want our GUI to look like. Uh, I'd kind of like to have a list of the movies on the right hand or on the left hand side, and then have the various information for the movie on the right hand side, with the idea that when you click on the list, it will pop up information in the appropriate uh, fields. Um, over on the left and if you edit things on the left it changes the data that's being stored uh, for the movies and then we should have menu options for for saving and, and loading. Um, so how should this work? Well I've kind of talked about having a left-right split and given the different panels that we talked about we had a grid panel, box panel, a flow panel, border panel and then the grid bag panel, which we're really not going to, to play with. Um, the grid panel isn't really what we want at the top level for the simple reason that it does it will make the things of equal size. And I don't necessarily want my list to take up as much space as the information. Uh, the list should probably be smaller. We could create possibly the type of effect that we want using a box panel. Uh, the flow panel really isn't ideal, but I'm actually going to make the top level here use a border panel. And in choosing this, I am going to put the list of movies off on the west side and then put another panel that contains the information that I want to show uh, in the center. So inside of here we want to add things into the layout um, 
I'll make, I'm going to say I have something called movie list, and I want to add it in the west. Now you might recall that this west is actually a border panel dot position dot west, so that I don't have to type in that entire thing. I am going to go ahead and input or import border panel dot position dot underscore. That way I can use short names like northeast, southwest, and center. In addition to putting that in the west, I want to add something else into the center. And in this case, I'm actually going to put uh, another border panel. And this border panel is going to have things like title, year, and rating in the north in, uh, in a grid. So they are all equally sized because they will be small. And then the description, which can be arbitrarily long, will go inside of a text area that's in the center. So we're adding this uh, border panel in the center of our top level border panel. Um, and then we need to put the various elements inside of it. So the layout here has two things added into it. One is a grid panel. And that grid panel is going to have three rows and one column. For the title, year, and rating, those are three rows. And they will be stacked in a single column. And that will go in the north. And then we will also have added into here a uh, description area that goes in the center. We'll come back and define description area just like we need to define movie list. For now, I'm just going to assume that it exists. If I were to try to run it without defining them, we'd get some syntax errors, and that would remind us of, of what we've forgotten to do. So I want to put together this grid panel at the top. Uh, it needs to have a text field for the string, uh, probably a text field for for the, the year. Rating actually comes from a... a smaller set, like you can be rated G, or PG, or PG-13, etc. Uh, so I'm going to use a combo box for, for this. Now, because these two are going to be just text fields, I want those text fields to have labels next to them to tell you what they are. And so, how am I going to get the uh, a little label sitting next to my text field? Well, Turns out the answer to that is, I'm going to use another border panel. And in this border panel, I'm going to have the label on the west, and I'm going to have the text field on uh, in the center, so it takes up the entire space. So, layout plus equals new label of title. And that will go in the west. And then layout plus equals uh, title field, which goes in the center. And I can copy these four lines and paste them twice more. And in this second one, instead of having it say title, it's going to say year. Instead of being a title field, it's going to be the year field. Uh, this last one, I guess actually I don't want to copy and paste, because this is just going to be the rating combo box. So that sets up the GUI. Now we have a number of things that are declared in here that we are not uh, utilizing yet, so or that we're using, but we haven't declared them, so that will be an error, and we need to declare them. Let's start off with our movie list. The movie list is a list view. Now, when you build a movie list, you're supposed to pass it the data that you want displayed in here, and 
the data that I want is the movies, but I actually don't want the full movie. I just want their titles. That's how we're going to dis display this. So I want to take movies and map it to underscore dot title to pull off the titles of all of the movies and only display that. Now, of course, right now there is nothing there, but uh, that is something that we will be able to fix later. Um, next up in line going down here, the next thing that isn't really defined is the title field. So new wait, title field equals new text field and we don't need any text inside of there to start with val year field equals new uh, text field and once again we're good with no text val if we scroll down we have a rating combo box rating combo box now this needs to be set to a new combo box and when you build a combo box you have to tell it what the options are so I'm going to just make a little list here of the possible ratings G PG PG 13 R NC 17 and NR for not rated so that's what will go inside of our combo box and our last thing that we need to create is the description area and that's just a new text area now, I can you be a little bit briefer here we don't have to say what we put into it if we don't want anything and let's see how close we are to getting that running looks like it's compiling and there we go now you might notice something our list isn't showing up and that's because the border panel gives east and west as much space as they require our list currently has nothing in it and for that reason it doesn't take up any space one way that we could fix this right now is to actually put in a movie here and we could put in a movie, you know, Bambi, uh, which I have no idea what year that came out. We'll say 1976. I would have to go look that one up. Um, and we need a, uh, a rating for it. Well, it was definitely rated G, even though it frightened many of y many young children. Uh, and of course was horribly uh, scarring to them when Bambi's mother got shot uh, and last our description uh, the th central theme is hunters are bad uh, at least that was the theme of, of the movie for all the young children who saw it um, okay let's go with those changes and if we run this again, now you can see that we have our list view over here. It's not really separated much. Once again, this is something that we can deal with in, in a bit. But this at least, at least gets us so that we can see our, uh, our GUI popping up. Uh, we still need to add some menus to that. But I will save that for another lecture. Uh, so that will be immediately after this. We'll add menus in the next video, and you can we'll make it so that we can load in a file with movies and that we can save them off as well.